Hi everyone, so first video review for this week is for Reservations of the Heart by T.D. Markinson. Um, if you want to check out my Goodreads review, I have just posted that, so if you're on YouTube there is a link in the description below, and if you are on Facebook or on my uh, blog post, then there is a link within the post, and this is the video review. So, Reservations of the Heart by T.B. Markinson. Now this is something a little bit different from T.B. Um, it's not one of her series books, it's completely standalone, and it is absolutely brilliant. Like, I loved every moment of this. Um, so it's about, uh, so it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of workplace romance, and it's about um, Dr. Stella and admin scheduler. So for those of you that don't know, she sort of does like an admin job in the offices, uh, scheduling out rooms and things for doctors, um, which is Aurora. And they have this really instant attraction. So there's a bit of a crisis at the medical school. And uh, so Stella has to go down to scheduling. She meets Aurora and they literally, like I say, they have that instant attraction. They get on um, and their kind of flirty banter leads to friendship, but then um, Aurora's temporary position at the medical school is suddenly over, and they embark on have embarked on a little bit more towards their friendship, thinking that they can take this to a relationship. Um, but they both sort of wonder if they've missed an opportunity with it, because um, suddenly Aurora is back at the medical school, and they're not quite sure where this leaves them standing. Um, but then, you know, Fate's put Aurora right back there for uh, Stella. She's not really sure what's going to happen, whether she's even going to see Aurora again on that last day of her work. Um, and then, you know, there she is. She's back in the fold. And, um, yeah, she's just back in her life and everything. So um, the friendship develops even further because Aurora's back at the work. And they continue to sort of keep their relationship on the down low a little bit. And, you know... It's not without hiccups, and there's some great moments in the book as well, but it gives them a chance to help each other, um, both grow as characters and change their lives, because Aurora's been, like, forever single, and she's kind of sworn off love a little bit, and then uh, she's, you know, she's in a very complicated place, you know, she's, she's on that turning point of life where she, you know, being single isn't all it's cracked up to be, and then you've got Stella, you know, like, she's a single parent, well, split parent family you know that kind of thing and um she's concerned that this younger woman really likes her but she really likes her too and you know Stella's not dated for a while either and you know when your kids are worried about you then you know you've got like problems and Stella's definitely got that problem so I absolutely love this story because it was something a little bit different and the plot was really refreshing like I say because these two characters they they were so different yet so alike and I think that really made them quite unique um and so I really liked, like I say, that, you know, TB really focused on the characters more than the medical details, because the problem, again, this is only set in a medical school, but the problem with medical romance is it can get heavily bogged down in the medical references when there's doctors involved and stuff, and you don't, you don't always want to read about all the complications of that, and so there are complications in this, obviously, of the workplace, because workplaces need to have tasks to bring people together, but, um, I really liked that, and it, it kept it, it kept it, you know, really light-hearted and dramatic by injecting a little bit of humour into that playful, flirty banter between the two characters. Just gave it a, a different edge, and I really liked that. Um, so, the way the book is put together, it's just full of relatable subjects. So you've got like the single older woman with the ex-wife and the child, and the young woman who's wavering a little. You know, she's she's not sure if it's the right thing she's not sure if she wants a relationship yet she's you know is is it the right thing to do because of work like there's so many questions for her as well as and then Stella's got those same questions as well and so the way TB portrayed all this like I say just made it really relatable and it really drew me in um I felt so invested in these two characters that I literally didn't want to put the book down I was enjoying their story so much that I didn't I probably didn't even want it to end and it did um but the whole instant attraction thing was handled so well. Um, you can, you if you don't get that perfect, you can, you can either rush it and it's too quick and it's not so believable, or you can drag it out so long that it becomes really slow burn. And yet TB managed to get that nice in between of using that flirty banter and that flirting and friendship to to build on and create the relationship so that it didn't seem rushed, but it didn't seem too slow burn either. And it takes 
you know, real talent to build that slow burning um, scenario and keep it realistic, which she did really well. So that I really loved. That was probably one of my favourite things of this book. It was that slow burn feel to it, but it was it was quick and slow burn at the same time. Like it, you have to read it to understand. But if you read it, you'll know what I mean. And so, literally. Uh, that was my favourite thing about the book and the way it made me feel uh, I was so emotional and happy um, like even though I was probably crying at points I was quite I was quite happy and uh, you know most of all it was just brilliantly funny and romantic and just really created like a really perfect read for me I really loved it um, there were literally I can't say a bad word about this book there is one particular character, one particular doctor, who I'm sure would find fault. Uh, if you've read the book, I'm guessing you'll know who I mean. So if you've read the book, comment below who do you think I'm talking about. Um, if you haven't read it, read the book, go find out. Um, but yeah, it really added to the drama of the whole book, and I really loved it. Um, so like Stella and Aurora, they were just something else together. Like their chemistry and the way they were both insecure in different ways, they really created quite a unique dynamic. And like I've said so many times already, it's that flirty banter and relationship that just made them such relatable and realistic characters that you just couldn't help and but love. And then the way they interacted as well with their other colleagues was just brilliant because they were so professional in their workspace and yet outside of their workspace they're completely different uh, but within their workspace uh, they were so professional and Aurora definitely um, she had her encounter with a fair share of uh, characters that she had to deal with and she handled all of them perfectly well in fact she's a very admirable uh, character she really is and I just yeah these characters and the whole cast surrounding them were really important because a lot of them became the driving factors that that pushed the plot along and and um, gave Aurora and uh, Stella their challenges. So I really loved them. The whole cast was great. The whole book was great. It was really funny. If TB wants to write more, I would totally read it. Um, I love these two characters. And I'm just saying, like, if you haven't read this yet, then seriously, what are you waiting for? This is definitely one of TB's best stories, and I absolutely loved it. Um, so I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of the book. Um, I hope you will. And if you've read Reservations of the Heart by TB Markinson, please let me know. Please comment below. Please get in touch. Let's have a chat. Um, if you haven't read it yet, um, or if you're planning to read it, or it's on your to-read list, or you're now interested in reading it, again, drop a comment below. Um, let us know that you're interested in reading it, because it's always great to hear what you're reading. And if you do grab a copy of it, I really, really hope you enjoy it. Bye!